okay so next topic is conditional default routes so guys see here in this topology this is my lan network or you can say this is enterprises network in my lan i am running ip address from this network from 10.1.1.0/24 right so here on r1 f0/0 i will configure 10.1.1.1 ip address and we can configure any ip address from this network to pc1 and pc2 right and you can see i have internet connectivity through two isp right this is my isp1 and this is my isp2 this is my backup link and this is my primary link i have connectivity from two isp through isp1 my lan user should access internet right this is my primary link suppose here uh, bandwidth here speed is 100 mbps and on this on this secondary link speed is suppose 10 mbps right here speed is 10 mbps and here speed is 100 mbps so this is my primary link this is my secondary link right my requirement is these lan user should access internet right through primary link if primary link is up and if primary link goes down this lan user should access internet via isp2 right my first requirement is when primary link is up my all lan user should access internet through isp1 if primary link goes down my all lan user should access internet via isp2 so here on your edge router you will configure default route right default route command is ip root 0.0.0.0 it means for all network for any network right subnet mask will be 0.0.0.0 for any subnet mask or you can say for all network for all subnet mask and then you will define exit interface suppose you will define exit interface is serial 2/0 now after running this command router will install one default route in their routing table towards isp1 so this lan user will access internet via isp1 through isp1 but suppose when this link will goes down now as a network engineer you have to change configuration on r1 now we need to change exit interface now exit interface will be what serial 2/1 okay after some that some time suppose again primary link will come up then again you have to change the configuration of router 1 again you have to set exit interface serial 2/0 right so it's not possible to change the configuration of my edge router again and again whenever link will goes down or link will come up right so so instead of configuring default route like this we will configure conditional default routes on edge router now question is how to configure conditional default route so here you will run two command first one is ip root 0.0.0.0.0.0.0 and serial interface 2/0 right this is for primary link so router will install this prefix in their routing table and you will run one more command ip root 0.0.0.0 submit mask 0.0.0.0 and exit interface is serial 2/1 and ad ad value right administrative distance suppose here i will configure administrative distance 10 now this is primary path this is secondary path right when primary link is up right all my lan user will access internet through isp1 because router will install this route but when serial 2/0 will goes down r1 will automatically install this default route in their routing table again when primary link will come up or this interface will come up isp will install this route in their routing table let me show you practically guys that will make you more clear fine so first of all i have already configured ip address on this router let me show you very quickly so on r1 let me show you so ip root so ip interface brief so ip interface brief exclude and assign fine you can see on f0/0 ip address is 10.1.1.1 on serial 2/0 ip address is this one and serial 2/1 ip address is this one right in the same way on isp1 let me show you ip configuration so ip 
interface brief exclude and assign see right the here you can see there is one loopback a dot a dot eight and on serial two slash zero ip address is one dot two in the same way on isp2 also let me show you ip configuration of isp2 first so ip interface brief exclude and assign right so here you can see ip address is 2.2 and loop back on loop back interface ip address is 1.1.1 now from my age router i am not able to ping 8.8.8 ping 8.8.8.8 see because there is no any default route in the routing table of r1 so let me show you routing table of r1 first so ip root there is no default route guys right there is no any default route okay now let me configure default route on this router so ip root 0.0.0.0.0.0 and serial 2 slash 0 is my exit interface fine after running this command router will install this default route in their routing table so ip root right you can see a static default route 0.0.0, .0 connected on which interface on serial 2 slash 0 so now i am able to ping 8.8.8 .8 let me check ping 8.8.8 .8 yes now i am able to ping let me trace root 8.8.8.8 .8 so 8.8.8 .8 .8 is reachable via 1.1.1.2 means isp1 right so but what will happen if my primary link will goes down let me down this interface shut down right now ping 8.8.8.8 .8 .8. now i am not able to ping because router will remove that static uh, default route from their routing table from his routing table let me show you so ip root now you can see there is no any default route so what we can do ip root 0 .0 .0, 0 0.0.0 0.0.0 .0 and exit interface is serial 2 slash 1 if i will configure default route towards m I, if i will use exit interface serial 2 slash 0 now again i can reach to 8.8.8 .8 .8 via isp2 see i am able to ping 8.8.8 .8 .8 now right let me trace route trace route 8.8.8.8 .8 .8 .8 .8 .8 .8 .8 see i am reachable via isp2 2.2.2.2 via isp2 again if my primary link will come up interface serial 2 slash 0 and say no shutdown right now my primary link is up but uh, still my lan user will access internet via 2.2.2 means via isp2 but this is not my primary link right this is not my primary link this is backup link so you will never configure default route like this on your edge router if you have more than one isp connective if you have connectivity from more than one isp right so first of all let me remove default route ip route uh, 0.0.0 0.0.0 and serial 2 slash 1 right so ip root now there is there will be one default route towards isp1 so ip root see now i am now my lan user can access internet via isp1 right trace root 8.8.8 dot 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 see fine 1.1.1.2 one dot one dot one dot means isp2 now how i will configure conditional root so guys ip root 0 .0 .0, 0 .0 0.0.0 and exit interface is serial 2 slash 1 and then ad value ad value is suppose i am configuring 10 right now on this router we, we have configured two default route right one with ad value 0 and one with ad value one with ad value 10 so 
which default root router will install in their routing table so ip root c via router via isp1 right where ad value is 0 fine where ad value is 0 but if my primary link will goes down now let me down my primary link interface serial 2 slash 0 say shut down so router will automatically install the um, uh, default routes towards isp2 so ip root c default routes towards isp2 let me ping 8.8.8 .8 .8. yes i am able to ping right let me trace root 8.8.8.8 .8 .8 .8 .8 .8 .8. so now i am able to access internet via isp2 via backup link if my primary link will come up what will happen if my primary link will come up 0 slash 0 and say no shutdown automatically router will install default route towards isp1 so ip root you can see fine now if you will trace root a dot a dot at c my lan user will access internet via isp1 and see my lan user is able to ping i am able to ping a dot a dot 8 fine if primary link will goes down interface serial 2 slash 0 and say shut down right again router will install secondary default root c exit interface is serial 2 slash 1 right again my primary link will if my primary link will come up interface serial 2 slash 0 say no shut again router will install okay wait see right so guys this is conditional default routes and okay so now lan user can't access internet ping 8.8.8.8 and source is suppose 10.1.1.1 right so see my lan user is not able to access internet so here we will configure what pat fine so in next video we will configure pat on edge router and then i will show you how this lan user will access internet fine so that's that's all for today if you like this video please hit on like button guys if you haven't subscribed my channel channel please subscribe this channel we will meet soon in next video till then stay safe this is a user demand video one of my subscriber has requested me to make one video on conditional default route fine thank you thanks for watching